free preset day. Actually, it's a uh, free preset update day. Oh. Today I am releasing a new uh, free update to my free picture in picture uh, effect for DaVinci Resolve. The drive to create this update was because of a new tool that was added in DaVinci Resolve 19. Um, so this update is specifically for DaVinci Resolve 19. In the package that you will download if you grab this update, it has both um, 19 and 18.6 and before versions. The old version is just the old version. I didn't change anything there. But for those who are already using DaVinci Resolve 19, actually DaVinci Resolve 19.1, Oh, they'll have that new feature and also um, an extra feature I added in this version, but I've also been wanting to revisit this preset um, because I've never quite super been satisfied with it. I've always thought it was a little uh, over-engineered and clunky. I finally took another look at it and was able to clean up a whole lot, get rid of a whole lot of superfluous um, expressions, which can slow down presets. And now I really like it. Super happy to share it with all of you. If you grab the update, you'll get this zip folder inside or those two files. Like I said, you want version 19.1. Double click to install. This will load it into Resolve. And then in your effects library, effects, drawing supply code, you'll have picture in picture pro. Drag that on your clip and boom, you've got a picture in picture effect. That is just the beginning. We're going to look at these options in the inspector, but I do want to specifically point out um, that like all my presets, you have this button to open this effect in the fusion page. If you want to kind of poke around, see how it was built and exclusive for members over at SterlingSupply.co, I have already recorded and posted over there my own personal breakthrough and walk down of this effect, pointing out some specific uh, quirks and features and breaking down a few of the slightly more advanced things I've got going on. There's not a whole lot of advanced stuff. But as a learning resource, um, I really like breaking down effects. I think that is something that is done really well in Fusion and can help people pick up Fusion a lot more. So if you want my walkthrough of how I built this effect, that is over on sterlingsupply.co. Of course, like picking up that membership or buying any of the presets I offer over there, um, that does support me. This is a free preset. This is a free upgrade to that preset if you are able to support the channel. Always appreciate it, thank you so much. But let's talk about Picture in Picture Pro. From the top, we've got our master transform controls, things like your position, size, and rotation. You will will notice this size is set at 0.5. This effect is built um, a little larger in frame, but then I shrink it back down at the very end to something that um, might be closer to how most people would use this effect, but you can always scale that back up and you won't need to worry about losing too much information. But after that, we have some cool stuff, this mask shape controls. This is one of the areas I rebuilt using the new switch tool in DaVinci Resolve 19.1, super exciting. It doesn't look that different on these controls, but um, it's handled quite a bit different on the back end and um, should really help performance. But we have the options of N-Gon or this, this polygon option, uh, rectangle, ellipse, and star. And you have drop down menus for each of those options. Change things like how many points on the star, things like the height and width. If you want like a little oval view on that ellipse rectangle, uh, you can pull down this quarter radi radius if you want it nice and square. And then end gone, change these sides, something like height and width there as well. I'm gonna stick with plain ellipse. And we can move on to some of our uh, footage controls. We have those master transform controls moving the entire thing around your screen, but we are bringing in this clip, if I turn this off, if I uh, duplicate this effect and just get rid of that effect, um, this is you know full screen gameplay. This could be a, a face cam or whatever. Um, this is what we plugged into this effect. So this is controlling the footage part of that. You can think of it like inner transform controls. So changing that position, the scale, the rotation. And then we also have this footage edge blur. I have the simple core outline here. If I pull up the edge blur, it starts to blur the very edge of the footage layer. So it just gives it this like alternate angle. If you want something not quite as harsh, not as harsh edges, um, this footage edge blur can be pretty slick. But then we have layer options. If I open it up, Right now, the only thing I have going on here is this main uh, outline control. If I toggle it off, we have just the footage. I toggle that back on. Yeah, things like uh, thickness. If I pull down the length, you'll notice, yeah, it's it's only part of it. If you want, I uh, know, a funky look like this, but pull that length back up and then you've got color as well. And then we also have two outline copy nodes and these uh, both by default, if I toggle them on, they have this rotation option. So they will actually rotate different directions around this shape. You can change the speed of that rotation if you want it, change this individual color, 
lots of different options and the general thickness and uh, position as those rotate around as well. Just more options. You can also pull up this length and just have different stacked, you know, layers of outlines if that is something you want. If you just want this like stacked effect or check off this one, you, you could build it, pull up this length and then you've got some really cool options here. Um, that rotation might be distracting or a little too much, but if you, if you pull up the length back on this, um, you can keep things clean while have, you know, a little more advanced style. But if I just want to keep my core outline there, I got it. And ooh, I also have displace options. These will affect all the controls. So even if I toggle this one back on, or not this one, uh, just to demonstrate, if I toggle on the texture controls, we add a little organic displace here. We have controls for the amount of detail, the scale of this option, and this does animate based on this texture speed. Just more customization options in your hand and performance, again, much improved in this version. Finally, the option we have here is a shape copy. We have those outline options, but we also have this complete duplicate. If I toggle this on, you can't see anything by default, but if I move this in X and Y space, you see, oh, we have this extra little outline floating over here, and you can choose between an outline or a solid. I believe, yeah, these won't be affected by the texture, but they will be affected um, by uh, something later I show off, but I'll toggle off that texture for now. And the extra effect that this copy has is a copy wiggle. If you just want this to sort of float around in the background, go ahead and do it, toggle it on or off, just another option in your hands. Now, I'll toggle that off, and then we will look at just this single outline for um, the, the big, not big, but a completely new feature added for this version that was a specific request. So if there's something um, you would like added to this effect, let me know and it might just happen. It's this outline image option. If I toggle this on, oh no, our outline goes away. But that's because if you toggle this on before you connect this like clip option, it kind of breaks. So uh, while I toggle that on, if I click for browse, I can look for any image. I'm gonna pull in an old thumbnail. And if I scale this up just to make sure it fills the frame, you'll notice, uh, hi, instead of a solid color, now we're just pulling the texture or image from whatever file we brought in with this loader. It does have to be a still image, but I can reposition this, scale this up. Yeah, so that at that point, it's almost the Resolve logo. And again, any uh, extra outline layers I add, something like this, that little wedge, uh, will be affected by this option, including the shape copy. Um, just something to know, be aware of. But if you wanna pull in something like your own custom gradient or like some branding you have, you can slot that in right here. Always a quick uncheck to go back to the individual colors you selected. And the last option, which I need to show off in a slightly different way, if I just have this cloud sky background, you'll notice that on by default, we also have this drop shadow. But again, you have options for that as well down here, drop shadow on, off, uh, with that strength, angle, and distance for that drop shadow ready to go. If you've been using this effect and you have chosen to upgrade to DaVinci Resolve 19.1, I think you'll lose nothing by grabbing this update. Um, things um, should be running much smoother across the board, and hey, you got this new feature with this image outline option good to go. And you can rest easy knowing uh, you're using effect that is just a little more optimized, which is nice. At least I, that's nice for me. If you've already grabbed Picture in Picture Pro, you should have been notified um, by email that you have an update waiting for you. Um, but this is also just a free preset. So if you just want to uh, make sure you grab it, you can head over to sterlingsupply.co. Again, while you're over there, I also have you know dozens of other presets as well as some paid products uh, and that membership if you would like access to that um, exclusive member video where I break down sort of what's going on behind the scenes in Fusion. This is available now, hope you love it. Um, if there's anything else you want thrown into this cool effect, you gotta let me know. Or if there's just completely other you know, presets that you'd like me to build. I've got um, some exciting plans, mostly for the new year for presets, um, including exciting plans for more of this like behind the scenes stuff. Um, so stick around and if, if, if memberships are your deal, we've got some exciting membership things planned. But that's all, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.